Welcome back to the channel folks, this is the last day of the Canaries December 2022 trip. I'm back on the tractor, let's see how we get on. <laughs> this is the Grand Canarian Stelvio. Feel free to scream, whoop, holler. Oh shit, don't have to come down. Helmet cam on, cockpit cam on, sync them up, one, two, three. Straight into the twisties. Right folks, this is the last day. We're day five, so yeah, obviously we've had five days here. In Gran Canaria with Canary Motorcycle Tours. Complete virgin group this, none of the lads have been here before. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they thought of it. Yeah, the lads seem to have enjoyed it, which is awesome. The plan today, I think I mentioned right at the start, is Martin wanted me to try a GS as a comparison because a lot of people say they, I was going to term it bike snobbery, but that's maybe the wrong word. You know, people look at the fleet and they think, oh, you know, they're just sort of basic bikes, so to speak. It's not loads of GSs and things like that. It's NC 750s, couple Africa Twins, V-Strums, a lot of 600 type CC bikes. But you really don't need the big CC bikes here in Gran Canaria. A lot of it's very tight, twisty, nagery stuff. And even this kind of stuff, ridden at a reasonable pace. I think there's a lot of people out there would struggle with a bigger bike. And the more powerful a bike, the easier it is to get yourself in a whole load of trouble. And there's plenty of that around every twisted turn here in the Canaries. So the plan today, we did quite a lot of tight nagery stuff yesterday. And then we're going to go and do the infamous goat track today which is very tight, very steep, lots of hairpins and he wanted me to take the GS on that to give my feedback. Now I think you get what you're going to have to bear in mind here folks is A, I own a GS at home. I've got the 1250, this is 1200 but they're essentially the same bike. A B, I'm 6 foot 3 and 20 stone. So it's not a mammoth task for me to manhandle one of these bikes around. You know, my sheer body weight works with this bike really well. So keep that in mind. Oh, hey. oh, it's nice to have that power again. I've been on the NC750 the past couple of days. This has got a load more punch. <laughs> a few of the boys are uh, they're praying that the airports are going to be shut. The UK, well most of mainland Europe is suffering from either deep snow, freezing temperatures and or flooding at the moment. So there's a few lads hoping that the airports are going to be shut and <laughs> they won't be able to go home tomorrow. Look at this. Let me get the boys back in. Phone connected. Two group members connected. Is there anybody there? Hi, morning. Hi, morning. How are you? Who do we have? That was Sam, wasn't it? It was. Hi, Sam from Conqueror's Motorcycle Apparel. Well, you can buy all of your finest motorcycle gear. <laughs> Who else do we have? Adam, you must Who? be on here. Are you on here? I am on here. Lovely job. Adam's just in front of me. Hello. Hello. How you yeah. doing? You all right? Yeah. What about young Matthew? Are you on here? Matthew. He's up in front. Is he playing dumb? Not exactly, a, not exactly a stretch for him, is it? <laughs> He's not talking to us today. He's not talking. Um, by the way, where is the vest? I've noticed, noticed a distinct lack of vest action. Uh, Stuart's still got it. What? I think he's still wearing it while emptying himself. <laughs> One of the groups Stuart has taken the day off. He has um, belly retention issues. He's got to pick seven. Or he's gone to the sand dunes in Maspalomas. If you don't know what we're talking about, good on you, you're going to heaven. You have a very moral character. You'll probably meet TMF down there, actually. I think I've missed all of that. I've sent him to call the wife, so I've been on the phone for the last couple of minutes. All oh, right, how is she? Is she all right? Yeah. Good. I'm not there. <laughs> She didn't say anything about the airports, unfortunately. Never mind, mate. Never 
What a way to start your day. Hello. 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 Ah, he's now working. Ah, oh, there you are. I did wonder why none of my funny anecdotes have been getting a response up till now. Well, turn it back up again. What, all week or just today? <laughs> <laughs> did anyone take any video footage at all when we stopped there? I didn't bother. Yeah, I took, I took, I took, a took some pictures. Took some pictures, oh well. But take it from us folks, we just had a little splosh stop, it was lovely. It's still 20... Uh, it's showing 25 now, but it was showing 27 at the coffee stop. It is uh, now I've got 28. I've got 29. It's in the high 20s. It's hot. Damn hot. And now we're back on the road. And it's snowing in England. And it's snowing in England. And I'm on the second best bike in the world. The GS 1200. Not the 1250. But I'm home, baby. I love these kind of roads. Look at that down there. Just awesome. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alan just took his, dug his pegs in. This is the grand sort of canyon -y run I was telling you about. This road will, um, you'll go along the, the sort of valley floor and then we start working away up along the side of one of the ridges. Once we're at the top, you'll probably pull over to the right and a big, there's a big viewpoint. That, that, this next ride is phenomenal. Yeah, we have been pants so far. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Believe me, it gets even better. Hey, what? He knows. He knows. Got what car around that corner. He definitely knows what he's doing, didn't he? He knew when. He knew when the slowest still up then, didn't he? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you really carried on at that place, you would have one of us would have gone over the edge there for sure. <laughs> When you get a chance, look back down. It's amazing, isn't it? Your right. Wow. Get out. Stunning. What a view. Oh, that road, the twisty road there, look at that. That's amazing, that is. Oh, oh man, what a direction. <laughs> <laughs> More information again. <laughs> I think they're enjoying oh. it. I think they're enjoying it. Yeah, in the mirror, look at that, that is, oh, it's like the poster you've got to put on like a, if you own the mighty cycle of the power shop, or something. Yeah, what have you got to that? I know one down near Hastings, called Conqueror's Motorcycle Apparel. Oh, is that the one in the back of the 1066 restaurant? Yeah. That's the one, yes. Oh, really oh. handsome chap over there. Is that your partner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your walk into that one. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> right, just had to do a battery check. The rest of the group's gone on. Let's uh, try and catch him up if we can. Kyle, helmet cam, cockpit cam, sync him up, one, two, three. stuff I always struggle with, the tight hairpins, especially right-handers. Quite sandy roads these. These nice big bars, they do make it easy to to turn, but I think if you're uh, sort of smaller in stature, some of these where there's an off camber, they might knock your confidence a wee bit. It all depends what you're used to though. Love this 
bit of road. Fair play, sir. You really can't cut the corner too much though, folks. smoothest of rides I'll admit <laughs> right now we start going into the tighter stuff and that is where I think if you haven't got like the experience of riding a big adventure bike like this normally then that sort of stuff the tight switchbacks particularly when it starts going not off-road but the the sort of tarmac breaks up a wee bit that may play on some people's confidence levels but I've got to say if you used to ride in one of these big bikes it's an absolute joy to devour these roads on this kind of bike but like I was saying you're not paying GS prices when you come with Canary motorcycles You'd be knocking at least another thousand pounds onto the trip, if not more. You imagine how, how much one of these things costs to repair, and the fleet does take a hammering. So I can totally see why they use the fleet they do, absolutely. Hot. What are we at? 27 degrees. Bruce. Yes, mate. Hello, mate. Left. Hello. There's a lift coming up. Okay. Right. On your left. On your left. Oh, right there, mate. Right I, there. Uh... I could hear the bike, but I didn't know if the cops were working. <laughs> gotcha. Cheers, pal. Thank you. No worries, mate. Well, there's not much room there. Play to yourself. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I think <laughs> you see it, Skid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That'll make you question things. All right. Uh, yeah. See, this is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a big haddock to get round those. Oh. I, uh, I didn't, didn't have a camera then, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there is this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. My ears just went lovely. Is that? My ears just popped lovely. <laughs> Car. Car. Oh, uphill on gravel. <laughs> I'm hearing people, I'm hearing them. I need to the odd chat coming through. Yeah. The odd f. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, look at this geezer cycling up it. Good luck. It's really like a, it's a proper tarmac bike as well. I know, yeah. Like... We. That was a bit squirrely. Yeah, it's a bit. Oh, they're coming up behind a car. And the cyclist, bollocks. <laughs> go on, there you go. Good effort. 
Alright, alright, let us bite. Come on. Nah, it's a higher car, right? Yeah, oblivious, totally oblivious. Looking at the view. Look, gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait on Ford on the GS. You two are the fastest in the Well, that'll wake you up. Uh, definitely in the tight twisties, those proper hairpins when it gets on this loose gravel. I think if you're not used to riding one of these, it's going to be a handful. But, conversely, if you are used to used to them and we're riding those kind of roads down the bottom, wow. <laughs> it's just so easy, isn't it? Best bike in the world. Aya. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely, done it. Slalom your way down the mountain. Wait till you see Stelvio. Oh, it dies. Look down to the right, still view. Wow, I need a picky. I need a picky. Oh, I need to take a picture of that. Oh my goody, Ann. Pretty special, isn't it? Still view. Ooh. Amazing. Right then, folks, this is the Gran Canaria in Stelvio. Feel free to scream, whoop, holler, do what you like. Or stay totally silent. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jose said there's loads of uh, this dust and gravel on this road. They cleared all the, the rocks from the rock falls that they had, but they haven't swept okay. the road. So just keep that in mind. It's not normally yep. like this. Car coming. Two cars coming. Sweet. Cyclist coming. Maniac. Fair play. <laughs> Definitely keen. Oof. It's not even one of those cheating bikes, is it? No. It's full pedal power. This is brilliant. Mega, isn't it? See why I was getting so frustrated yesterday when we were just doing track yeah, after track. Yeah, completely. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is over here. But what a way to finish the trip with these kind of roads. Absolutely. Shame Stuart's missed this, though. Yeah. I yeah. Know. I'll send, I'll send you the 360 version, that's the best yeah. you can get. <laughs> I hope the, I hope the uh, sand dunes were worth it, Stuart. Look at what you could have won. He's walking with the waddles tonight, I don't know what he's doing. I think Jose's done this before. Yeah. Once or twice.
Amaleo, Amaleo. Right. You're not going to be able to listen to that song ever again without thinking of this. No. Nope. This trip, anyway. Do you have a magic? Sand dune in? Not number seven. <laughs> oh, you're not okay. Ears just broke. Oh, look at this one. Look at like your boy. Lovely jubbly. I can't believe you made us come and hold it to do this. Oh, I mean, yeah, Bruce, you're a bit of a bully, really. I know, I'm sorry, Bruce. it's really? unbelievable. I, know. I thought I'm you were meant to be my friend, but really, you're just a bit of a dick. Yeah, yeah, I... I lied, <laughs> in, I lied in all those videos. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I'm dust on that, though. What's that? There's a lot of dust on that, though. I know. Watching all your rear wheels go through the dust and a big cloud coming up, I'm like, mm. <laughs> how, uh, how deep is that? <laughs> I'm taking my time, so that <laughs> not on the last day. Oh, no yeah. Just soaking it all in at an enjoyable pace. Don't need to sprint. Uh. Oh man! Wow. Wow. Ah, look at that! Look at that! I think I left my wallet at the top. I'm just going to shoot back up. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen at home, was the Grand Canarian Stelvio. Worth your flight alone. Just keep going, look. Uh, T junction at the end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and now it just keeps going. Oh, man. I'll just ride these all week, no problem. Ah. So do that, eh, grab this stuff. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> I wear high heels, uh, 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 yeah, suspended on a, a, a bra. I wish I'd been a girl. Just, just like my, my dear mama. mama. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to some rest of your Scotch lads away. Fuck! Sarah by the Scots boys on the way down there. Not putting out in the video. <laughs> no, that's in. 100% that's in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I mean, we just came on. Read you off. Pardon me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, not a good idea sneezing into a corner. 30 degrees, just so you know. Right, what's this road skin stuff like in temperatures? Well, it's been not bad at all. Bearing in mind we've been in the mid 20s to high 20s most of the sort of days we've been out. Hoodie, it is hot, I mean it's black, it is hot, but uh, it's not unbearable at all. Jeans are great, I think these are the Tyrannis ones, so they're dual layered. But yeah, they're not unbearable at all. Uh, what else can I tell you about? I wore both the hoodie and the jeans through the airport on the flight out here, no problems at all in security. Didn't set off any scanners, no problems with any of the staff like wanting to search you because you look weird with all the pads and stuff. Talking of pads, the hoodie uh, has an R, has a back protector, it's got elbow and shoulder pads, it's rainproof, uh, one's AA rated, it's a good bit of kit and it looks good as well. I've been told by a couple of people they may have been extracting the urine, but I've been told by a few people it's quite slimming. Probably because it's black. Who said that? Your mum. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> totally recommend it. Great bit of kit. Mega bit of kit. But after three days down at Toro and a week here in high temperatures, it's going to need a wash. 
so I won't be wearing it for the flight home tomorrow. But I will be wearing it to ride home tomorrow once we get to the airport. Because apparently it's about minus seven. Yeehaw! Right folks, we just had a, lo a lovely lunch. Very nice, down by the beach, down by the sea. Not by the beach, but by the sea. And now we're heading inland into the cauldrons. It's 31 degrees here. Let's see what it gets to when we're going in. Just like that, we're on our way to do the infamous goat track. Dun, dun, dun. This isn't the goat track. This is a nice road. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> now nah, the goat track's like this, but it's about it's a wee bit narrower, but it's just it's got a couple of really steep switchbacks in it. Yeah. Well, there's only a couple, and you sort of work your way up the top, and some stunning views up the top. 33 degrees. It's getting hot in here. Don't take off all your clothes. Okay, yeah, now I know what he's meaning. These are quite a big old haddock for those. Yeah. First gear. Yeah, you can see if you um, if you weren't particularly tall and say you stalled or something on something like this. Oh yeah, you'd struggle with yeah, that. Oh yeah, you'd drop it. You'd tumble all the way down, wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's worried about with these, with people having these big bikes. I ride a GS anyway, they're overrated. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Helmet cam on, cockpit cam on, sync on, one, two, three. Alright, let's catch them up. Oh god, we're in the shade, I was cooking there. Yeah, it's nicer in the shade. 28 <laughs> degrees in the shade. Stop, stop. Stop him, stop him. Ah, oh. there we go. That is the goat track. Get ready oh, for this. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Definitely need a wee. It's only a couple. It's a couple of um, real tight zigzags and then we're done. Right, this is what they wanted me to show you on the GS, folks. Oh, it's actually surfaced. Oh, well, okay. That's one positive because it was kind of a little bit dirt tracky. Right, see what I mean by these zigzags. If you were to come on uh, a big bike like this, folks, if you're maybe not used to it or um, shorten the leg, if you had an issue and the bike starts to fall, if you look at the camber of the road and how steep it all is, you could be in a bit of problems. Well, I've got to say, at this sort of speed, it's fairly manageable. But we're not to the top yet. Bumpity, bumpity. I'd say, um, I'd say the stuff we did earlier was harder than this. This is steep. This is just steep, isn't it? It is steep, but the road surface is worse. Yeah. What though, this is skipping about up here. Yeah, some loose, loose, uh, yeah, it's very surface every now and then. I'm not, I'm not kidding here. You get buses on this road. I've met a bus coming down when we were going up before. <laughs> Have a look at this view when we get up here. And that was it, that's the goat track. Yeah, I think the other one was only with Yeah, the... yeah, I think you're right. Oh, car, so car. Gotcha. And you can see, you can see where we are. Remember the highest point of the island we were at? Well, we're just on the other side of that big valley that was in front of it. 
if that was okay to be honest that was all right i think if you'd had to stop on any of those um hairpins oh, you'd, yeah. you'd be in some trouble yeah. and with a big bike like this once it starts to go you're, you're not you're not going to be able to catch it no chance then just jump off time isn't it yeah cyclist cyclist up here that's phenomenal isn't it Ooh, good effort so Oh, it's just slide in the centre of it. Yeah, all loose. Look at this. Look at this for the views. Oh my goodness. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Oh, my. Wow. It's good to be back. Okay. You've got what? 35. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Just been in class. You alright, dude? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright, yeah, yeah. Cool. Alright? <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You all good? You all right? Sure? No way. Oh, mate, it happens. It happens. You all right, Nathan? Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> mate, it happens. It happens. And that one's hurt. That's the main thing. So, yep. Switch it off. Switch it off and then switch it on. It's got a tilt switch on it. There you go. See how easy it can happen, folks. It can happen to anyone. Feels hotter than ever, but it's 23 degrees, positively chilly. Yeah, it was a bit hard work on those tighter twisties, but then I don't, I don't particularly like them myself anyway. You know, like hairpin stuff. Oh, oh. oh someone has to come down. Someone has to come down. Well, hit the car. Yeah. Are you alright Nathan? Did he hit I the car? I don't think he hit it. No, I don't think so. That's the just helped him pick it up. Oh, okay. Are you alright? Just go canny. Right, let me go in front. Let me go in front. Just go canny. Go on. After you. Go on. Just take it easy, boys. Go canny. Yeah, yeah just be gentle right back. The last hour, was... and then you're home. Yep. Nice, easy, relax, well done. Right, helmet cam on, cockpit cam on. Let's think about one, two, three. Wow, what an amazing evening, gents. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <laughs> natural, that one. <laughs> it's a good job we didn't have it, we didn't have our GSs, though, wouldn't it? Because uh, I wouldn't like to have picked them up. That would have been expensive. In the space of, what, yeah. five minutes? That was three off. Yeah. It's easy done. On a serious note, Jen, so it's been lovely riding with you in this yeah. awful weather. Yeah. Brilliant holiday with brilliant company. Yeah, yeah. Most, most of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Humans> mutual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Just like two days' time, you can actually be at work. Yeah. Or if you're Stop Adam, eight. if you're Adam, you'll be this time tomorrow night. Very stupid depressing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's mental though, isn't it? It just shows you, what is it, four yeah, and a half, five I hours, bang, you're here. Yeah. Gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. Folks watching, stay tuned, bit of a special thing for you coming in a sec, as we make our way back to the base. It's been a cracking week. Uh, here you did it, Bruce. Cheers for your company, hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Bruce. Bruce. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Bruce. Sam, what's the name of that oh. shop again? Not oh, what shop? The little shop that sells all the really, really good motorbike gear. That's the one. What's the name of that shop again? That awesome shop with the cafe attached to it. Ah, 
Congress Motorcycle Apparel on the what? A21 just what? outside of Hastings. Well, actually, the web address just seems to be coming up on the screen now. Ooh. Check out doesn't. links down below. I am genuinely gutted that the day is coming to an end. I know. Yeah. Yeah, this has been a fantastic break with some fantastic. Yeah. I don't think I've got any juice left to give to this place. <laughs> Wow, what a time to come back into the comms. <laughs> <laughs> so then folks, if you want to fat uh, blah, 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 start that again. <laughs> <laughs> so folks, if you fancy a bit of this, make sure you check out Canadian Motorcycle Tours. Links on the screen now and in the vid description. Tell them the big fat Scotsman teapot one sent you. And you never know. I might see you out here. And you too! can find out all about traffic cones and magnums. See you on the next one. Remember, there's a surprise coming. Chips! 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 I was going to let you get out there in the queue. Right, here's a special guest. Look who's here. Where are we looking? That one. That one. That's the speaker, Bruce. How long are you here for? Uh, I'm here for a couple of weeks now. Nice Christmas break. Are you doing a bit? No, I'm just here for holiday, mate. Are you working here? I hope you've enjoyed my bit, then. He's here too. Hi. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>